So, Melissa, Kirsty, ladies, 2-0 um, today in the Champions League against Arsenal, 3-0 on aggregate. Um, what does meaning? What does it mean getting through to the semi-finals? Unbelievable. Uh -huh. yes, we've made club history today. Uh -huh. We're just all so excited to play in the semi-finals of the Champions League. I think it's a great performance between all of us that we worked as a team. Okay. How each other's really. Well, I said you had a good game, but you seem to doubt me. <laughs> now, this is Melissa. My, my interviews are very, very anything goes, definitely. But you, did you feel that you performed well? I don't know what I had to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't think I could uh, drive at the defenders much as I could. Mm -hmm. But I've done the defending alright. did the hard bits. That's the most important thing. Our main thing in our game is to defend from the front mm -hmm. and to track the runners. The amount of running she does is insane. And you scored the opening goal? I did. Tell yeah. us, tell us a little bit about it. What do you, what do you remember about it? I uh, just remember it going in and just everyone was so happy because that was our aim to get to get an away goal mm -hmm. to go three, three nil up. That was our aim. I think that when that opening goal was scored, I think the crowd sensed that Arsenal had a mountain to climb. Yeah, it was know. a big mountain to climb, and it just gave us such a boost. And, and I think you all had that self belief with the celebration on the touchline. Yeah. yeah. You know? As soon as she turned, <clears throat> we all mm -hmm. know that she was going to score because. Got confidence in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's just like our team at the minute is just it's so, so close, good. Like, it's like family, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. we just literally we'll do anything for our team at the minute. Like we've got young players, old players, we just all pull through and help each other out. So were, were both of you quite regulars last season? Uh, yeah, we did yeah. to be fair. It was our it was my first Super League season, mm -hmm. so I've learnt a lot, a lot last season. Mm -hmm. I hadn't played in quite a long time, and then you learnt a lot last season. Yeah, especially starting. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, boost your confidence. So, mm -hmm. because so. because the season before you had a storming season, but last season was a bit on yeah, and off. Yeah, I think um, we were just getting used to each other. Like mm -hmm. the transitional, players, yeah. uh, transitional season, definitely. We lost a lot of big names, and the the youth players that brought in has just made a massive change. Mm -hmm. And we're stuck. Like now, we know what we're doing. And also, we, we know what we're doing from the older ones helping us. Mm -hmm. They're always communicating with us what to do. Mm -hmm. so, to help us. Yeah, it helps us a lot. I think with the young ones as well, they just go for it. Like, mm -hmm. They don't think to they yeah, they've got no fear. Exactly. Yeah. No mm -hmm. fear, just go for it. Does the comfortable way that you've got to the semi finals now boost you with confidence for the WSL? Yeah, definitely. We were underdogs massively. Um, mm -hmm. Things we've heard is, just makes us laugh. And Use it as motivation, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you're, are you talking about the invest from the other clubs and things, yeah, from like for in, or City and Liverpool? Um, and, yeah. Like the the odds, the bookies. Everyone said that we're the other dogs. Mm -hmm. That gives you favourite. Gives us a boost, really, to like show them what we've actually. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at Bristol last year. Yeah. yeah. You know, they didn't really. Win. They could. They could have won that title yeah, and perhaps yeah. should have done mm -hmm. in some ways. Would have been good. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. definitely. You know. So tell us a little bit about how you feel women's football is progressing are you pleased with the way it's moving on or do you think it's a sport that's that's on the up and up you know how, yeah. how, how, how what are both your opinions yeah, melissa um, what are your what, what's your opinion of of, of the of the rise uh, of the game <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, there's no favoritism here i'm just saying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> i think it's on the rise like doing really well at the moment like mm -hmm. investments mm -hmm. also the other teams are playing training every day so that's going to obviously improve Mm -hmm. Women's football all together. Mm -hmm. Better coaches are coming in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's going fast. Really During nice. the break, did you go and play for anyone else, or did you just sort of take a break? Did you no, sort of relax? Like, yeah, because do some players do go and play for someone else, don't they? Do they, do they yeah, sometimes um, go into the Premier League or something? Or yeah, they do just to keep their fitness up. Mm -hmm. If they've not played pretty much, we had a we had a seat whole season, so. Mm -hmm. We've got distractions, haven't we? Yes, we have. We've got distractions on the side. There's always distractions. Like, the, the one thing I love about the, the interviewing Birmingham players is there's always someone on the side <laughs> like, with the distraction. Yeah. And what about yourself, Kess? How, how do you think the game is sort of Yeah, it's, brilliant. Um, it's one of the fastest growing sports in the world, mm -hmm. so that's definitely a bonus for us. And in, like, the interest now is just growing. Do, like, you think, do you think the Olympics had an impact? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, there's people who never had an open mind to women playing... Um, Football, mm -hmm. which is absolutely ridiculous, mm -hmm. still living in the Stone Age, but um, they watched it obviously because it was on main TV. And the, the comments I heard, even people who didn't know I was playing football, were just like, it was so good to watch. Uh, so I've got a really interesting question for both of you. What, 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 are, what are people's reaction when you do say you're a footballer? 
just the normal. Is it mixed? Is it honestly? Is it is it mixed though? Do you get some uh, people sort say, of? Do you get we some? Don't, we don't look like footballers. Uh -huh. Yeah, they that, say that. Yeah. yeah. So you don't look like a footballer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. People say it's I don't like reaction. I can interview her. It's a good reaction, though. It's, it's a good sport. People love it. But. Yeah. <laughs> and both of your ambitions, what are your ambitions in football? Uh, it's like England senior, senior. Mm -hmm. always cutting playing, also becoming a better footballer, mm -hmm. yeah. but doing more to help the team, mm -hmm. so then hopefully being a little more progressive. I, I just want to play, like, I'm just enjoying it so much mm -hmm. at the minute, I just love playing, especially for the Blues, just keep playing, keep working hard and hopefully things will come. Okay. Well, listen. Thanks for taking the time out. See, it wasn't, you know, you know no, no, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't as daunting as one would think. <laughs> okay. And um, listen, congratulations today. It's Thank been you. super. You both played absolutely <laughs> brilliantly. And Cheers, uh, until next time. Right, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.